now we will move on to the second part or the second video of our tutorial on google earth engine and in this video we will be covering how to uh, perform calculations on the images that we have extracted uh, from this uh, google earth engine platform and manipulate those images to display the results that we want so first of all we will start by creating a new file and then rename it to test2 okay so now you can see that uh, the new file pops up here and we'll start coding in the code editor we first import the sentinel2 data uh, within our code the same data that we saw in the previous video we can rename it to sentinel then uh, the next part is obviously to draw the polygon over which we want to display our results or over the area in which we want to capture the satellite sentinel 2 imagery this will be our polygon and we can rename this to region again and then uh, what we can do is just quickly apply uh, all of the same filters that we saw in the previous part so sentinel dot filter bounds over the region then apply a filter over the metadata so that it contains the cloudy pixel percentage less than one and then filter the dates uh, such that it contains the images from last year 2022 to 2022 1231 right and then uh, what now we need to do is uh, we have to uh, calculate the median once again we calculate the median and then store the results in the same variable image so now we have a single image over this region and let's just say we want to calculate uh, the NDVI the normalized difference vegetation index map uh, for this image so to uh, create that map we need to access the specific bands uh, within this image uh, as we saw earlier that uh, the sentinel 2 contains uh, those 12 or 13 bands and we want to access them individually so we will create a variable uh, red we can open the data set here look at the bands the blue is b2 green is b3 red is b4 and we will also be needing nir which is b8 so let's just quickly access them uh, within our code we can do that by performing a select function image dot select and then passing in the band number as a string so this will be our red band we can repeat the same process for all of the other three bands we can select the green blue as well as the nir this was b3 this was b2 and this was b8 right and now we will create uh, another variable named ndvi and calculate the ndvi from these individual bands the formula for ndvi as some of you might know is nir minus red uh, divided uh, by nir plus red so we can just code it over here it's really simple we can uh, use the subtract add and divide functions nir dot subtract red dot divide it by the sum of nir and red so this will save the uh, ndvi or calculate the ndvi and then save it in the ndvi variable and then finally what we need to do is display this ndvi layer over the map so we'll just say map dot add layer and then pass ndvi and let's just try running this code and see where it takes us 
okay and now you can see there is uh, a grayscale image uh, on our map and this grayscale image is basically the NDVI map and it is currently great because it is uh, within the range of 0 to 1 and once again we can adjust the parameters of this layer in the layers setting so we'll open the layer setting we can uh, change the range from minus 1 to 1 because it is NDVI and it is normalized between minus 1 and 1 we can give it uh, a palette for on so that it is not grayscale anymore let's just create three values of red yellow and green okay and let's try applying this so as you can see the results are quite bright we can adjust the stretch once again let's try applying a stretch of one sigma and th these results are much better so what we can do is import these parameters in our code rename the parameters and then pass these parameters to uh, the line to the function where we are adding this layer onto the map we will pass the parameters here and then rename it to NDVI layer and this is how you basically calculate uh, an index or perform any other calculation uh, on the images that you extract from the Google Earth engine you can remove this polygon and as you can see here the NDVI map is being displayed over the entire region of our interest and the red areas basically correspond to areas of less vegetation the green corresponds to high vegetation areas you can see that uh, the uh, hills as well as the green areas of Rawalpin and Islamabad uh, are being displayed quite differently from the areas where there is urban development or there is lake or any other thing and this concludes our uh, video on the calculation on images or manipulating images within the Google Earth engine and calculating these sorts of indices uh, over different data sets